Hello. Hi. I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you? In this video, I want to let you know a little bit more about my two-day workshop that I'm having uh, coming up here in a few weeks. It is towards the end of October. It's right before the thinning of the veils, the traditional thinning of the veils that happens every year. But there's a reason that I'm having it happen at that time of year. And it has a lot to do with filling your cup. A lot of people have been exhausted. A lot of people have been just sort of flat out of energy, maybe reaching a level of what they just don't even know what to do about things. You need your tank refilled. And some of the old things may not be cutting it for you anymore. And there's a reason for that. It's because your body is entirely new. You have a new twin flame body that keeps you connected. And it's also what helps you and enables you to thrive, to live, be alive, really be alive and thrive. And this means your creativity. So in this energy, you're sort of in this pocket. A lot of people are in this pocket where they're from here to here and they feel like they've done this and they're saying, what's this pocket I'm in? And what that is, is it's something that can affect your creativity. It's not something being done on purpose to you. This energy is highly emotional and there's quite a bit of emotional upheaval. There are things that are happening. There are things that are happening abruptly. I'm hearing left and right about some very abrupt things happening for people where suddenly their life shifts just like that on the turn of a dime. And this can throw people off. It can really put people into their shadows, kind of like just how the light dimmed. <laughs> the sunlight is being obscured by a cloud and it looks a little bit dimmer, a little shadowy. And how do you get that going again? How do you get your tank filled so that you re-energize, keep yourself up and running and maintain and thrive and be in love? Okay. The bottom line is you have a body that has a lot of areas on it that enable you to feel each other. And I don't mean to feel just the bad stuff, just to feel aches and pains and pokes. Look, when twin flames have first started, you could feel things that were going on on the other side. You could maybe feel when your twin was getting messed up, when they were fighting or arguing with someone, when they were getting drunk. Maybe you could even taste it in your mouth. Maybe you weren't even sure what was going on. Maybe you had the smell of smoke or something like that. Now, let's turn on the light and see what is this stuff and what can you do about it because the things you can do happen through your new twin flame body they don't happen by old ways and this involves a very deep and back into history type of clearing emotional upheaval means that there's emotions there's emotions that we're not comfortable with but that is not your new comfort zone it's not your new comfort zone to be someone's babysitter or be someone's enabler. It's like saying, oh, heck no, I'm not going to sit for that. I got to be over here. If just one of you gets to a neutral place, that starts to be healthy. If one of you starts to get to the new level, that's even healthier. And it's not rocket science. It involves your brand new template of relationship and your twin flame body. That's truly how you are connected. And there's ways to do this that you may not even realize because I teach these in classes. I teach it in my webinars. I teach these in my classes. So if you're using your um, really old school Palladian uh, violet flame meditations, those are going to be passe for where you need to go. They served the purpose at one time. Some of those videos will still be out there and someone will find them like a breadcrumb. But what about you? And what about the real life that your soul wants you to have? What about recharging your batteries, refreshing yourself, 
this is a level of exhaustion that is beyond the scope of what a lot of people have really considered. Even the healthiest people are exhausted. Running and chasing gets exhausting. Anger gets exhausting. Fighting and fighting and effing people over, that gets exhausting. There's a lot of events that are going to happen that you may hear about or see about. And you might say, well, yep, that happened. But there's a ripple effect. And as your body feels things, your body wants to get rid of the old and get in the new. Now, this is something that a lot of people don't realize because you might have thought, well, I'm phoning it in between dimensions. That doesn't work. Getting angry puts up walls to the heart. Getting angry at your twin flame will not work, okay? So I have a lovely class that is really intended to give you enough tools, enough of your light body opening so that you feel empowered, so that you feel that you're getting to another level and that you start having things happen. So let me show you about this. I do have an outline that we go by. I don't freeform anything. Everything is done with the highest level of guidance that I can possibly get from my Blu-ray level. My Blu-ray is not going to drop the ball on this, and neither should you. So let me just show you what I have. This is a Chicago class. It's in the Chicago area. It's on the northwest side of Chicago. Open to lovers. So if you are... Um, in a form of separation, you're welcome. It does, it's not a couple's class, although couples can come. It, on the 25th, that's a Friday evening, I'm having a meetup in a lucid meditation with the twin plane. This is going to be for high heart connection. And you better believe you have some high heart connections. You're closing out the old. You're coming to the end of the end of the end. What is next? Now, the next two days, these are full days. The 26th is Saturday. The 27th is Sunday. Healing and next level. Q&A, that means question and answer, and twin flame body information. I'm not winging it here, although I do tune into the energy of the people that attend. The 27th, we focus on how do you seal your gates. Now, this is along the lines of what people would call being an empath. Are you an empath? Have you come up against narcissists? Are you feeling affected? Yeah, everyone has been. So we're going to go over that, how do you do it, so that you stop feeling like an empath, so that you stop being so affected by other people's whether you call it narcissism, narcissism actually is a clinical definition, and some people call narcissism someone saying no to them. Okay, so like, let's be real. If someone has said no to you, you're still going to have feelings about it, and you want to be able to seal your gates about it. You want to be able to clear, clear all that stuff out, and commune with 5D love. You need to be able to do this. This is why certain old paradigm things will no longer work for you. So this is a two-day intensive workshop at the end of October, right in time to prime you for that end of the season where the veils are always the thinnest, the time that people call All Souls Day, All Souls Day, when they can feel that they go between the dimensions, they're able to permeate the barrier that is between and feel, see, see what your future is. Fill your tank of the heart. Fill the cup, okay? Empty out the bucket and fill your heart. So along with this, you might be seeing some things like what is realistic, what isn't realistic? What is something that pertains to you specifically? Because when you get yourself right, when you get yourself in alignment, that's how you pull 
the other person you're connected to that you're in love with into alignment. And this is something that maybe a lot of people don't really realize that there's more than there's more than the old ways to do this. The old ways will take you longer until you really run out of ideas or suggestions or um, like what I've been hearing lately is that people have done this, done that, done that. A lot of those will satisfy the mental part of someone, but they absolutely offer no information or edification for the twin flame body. Just to let you know, what can some of those things be? Well, some people will go out and they get very attracted to numbers because they start seeing numbers and those numbers are a signal. But ultimately, that is not going to make your twin flame kiss you just because you know numbers. Um, it's the same thing with certain cards. Seeing a card that says your knight is, or your twin is a knight in shining armor is wonderful. But that's still not going to pull you in because it's more like mental information. So I don't really mean to knock it because it can satisfy the mind and it might emotionally keep you going, but it's not going to do anything for your new light body. The new light body needs to be addressed as a twin flame. Your twin flame and pretty much everyone is going to be connecting the template, the new template that is being offered here. It is a gift, but like any gift, if someone were to give you a bicycle as a gift, are you going to let it sit in the corner and just stare at it? with the ribbon on it, or are you going to get on it and try it and balance yourself and maybe win the Tour de France? You betcha. Okay, that's the opportunity that's being offered here. And this is why in the higher realms, there is not a hierarchy. There is more like a level of experience. The more you're experienced at learning this, the seamless it gets for you. It is your nature. It is the natural being you are. It's not something that you're just take, putting on and taking off and putting on and taking off. All of those Barbies I use, you know who they are? They are come out of the closet twin flame Barbies. <laughs> and one day you're going to be really glad that you took some steps forward on this because it will serve you well because you'll be able to be at a level that other people are just finding out about. You've been hearing about this for quite some time, and this year has been the year to actually finish some final closure and get yourself up and running. That also is why people are exhausted. If you could see this on a grand scale, it's like moving an entire, like if, People moved the capital of their country and decided that, you know, everyone pick up something and move it. Sure, you'd be exhausted. And it's not just you who is exhausted. It is your twin flame also. So look for the links down below. Reach out to me with any questions at twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I hope to see you there. And um, you can register on the links. And all of the information will be there. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.